there, it's Angela Sharp filling in for Angela Hackman here on In the Kitchen with STL TV. That's where we tell you everything that's going on in the food world here in St. Louis. And today I'm excited because I am joined by Revel Kitchen. Yes, that's right. That's right. All right, I got Simon here. He's the owner and operator. Say your last name for me. Ah, uh, Lusky. Looks L like Lusky. Lusky. Yeah. All right. So first of all, let's kind of talk about Revel Kitchen because yeah. it's kind of like you've got like a healthy kick, right? Yeah, for sure. Um, when we came up with this concept, uh, it being health conscious was definitely at the top of our priority list. Um, and then also it being convenient, fast and affordable were definitely kind of our priorities as well too, where they all fell in. Well, we like all of those priorities, but why yeah. was health so important to you? Um, so I went to culinary school and when I first started culinary school, I was 300 pounds. No way! Yeah, so now uh, 200 pounds. So throughout my course of culinary school, I lost 100 pounds. So I really fell in love with nutrition and eating healthy and getting into that lifestyle. So when I decided to do my first ever restaurant, my first ever concept, I wanted to make sure that healthy eating was on the top of that priority. And it's always funny because they say you can never trust the skinny chef, but I always say I used to be fat. So, <laughs> so yeah. that, that means we yeah. can trust you. You can trust me, yeah. You can trust him, he's good. What are you gonna make for us today? So today I'm gonna make something that's near and dear to my heart and also one of our best sellers in our restaurant. It's, we call them collie tots or cauliflower tater tots. Um, they're simple, they're easy, you can make them at home or you can come buy them at Revel Kitchen. I love this. So, so these tots are gonna have cauliflower in them. Exactly. We have the ingredients there on the screen. So yeah. if you would like to cook along with us at home, you can totally do that. Go grab those ingredients so you can work with us or you can just hang out and watch us do all the work. Really watch Simon do the work because I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm pretty excited about okay. that. But the cauliflower tots, why, why those? So it was kind of funny. I came to St. Louis because I was offered an internship to be the chef nutritionist for the Cardinals and ended up staying and doing that job for seven years. And always getting athletes to eat vegetables is um, easier said than done. So we're always trying to think of fun, inventive ways. And when I first got here about 10 years ago, I remember like cauliflower pizza was the thing that everybody wanted, nice. the new cauliflower crust. So I was trying to think of a way to do that. And I just couldn't come up with something you know, that I liked. It worked, but it wasn't something that I liked, but I had made this base of cauliflower that was very easy and pliable. And then you know, after like scrapping all these crusts and having all this stuff, I was you know, shaping them and I was like, oh, I was like, these can make like little balls and then little tots. And you know who likes tots? Everybody. Everybody, not just kids, <laughs> even athletes, right? right? So um, we decided that that's something we're gonna try and we baked them up and we threw them out for lunch for uh, one of the days for uh, the Cardinals and they absolutely loved them. And so they were a staple from then on out. And then when I made my restaurant, I took that recipe and we've, they've been a staple on our menu ever since. Well, let's kind of get started. Are you gonna walk me through what's gonna happen here? Yeah, for sure, absolutely. So we'll start first with the meat of the dish, the cauliflower. Okay. So there's a couple ways that you can get it. I remember when we first started this thing, cauliflower rice was like, everyone's like, what is cauliflower yeah. rice, right? Um, so now it's like you can buy it already bagged, frozen fresh everywhere, all the grocery stores. So you can do that if you like. Um, you can use a box grater. Um, you can use your food processor and pulse it. I wouldn't suggest a blender, um, but you just want to get it broken down into a nice, granular form, oh, a little okay. softer, all right. so you can kind of see there. Yeah. So we'll start with that. So we have four and a half cups of our cauliflower rice, and we're gonna go ahead and put that into our mixing bowl. Okay. Pretty simple. Go ahead and put that in. And then so next year we're gonna do some eggs, and now literally oh, okay. liquid gold at today's price. I was gonna yeah. say, yeah, eggs, eggs in this market are a little bit different. So how many eggs is this? So this is one cup of eggs. One cup of eggs, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and put the eggs in there. Put that in. Now, we use a, uh, a local farm called Buttonwood Farms. Um, so we're really proud of that. We've been using them since day one. It's pasture raised eggs. Um, really great product. You can see the color of the egg, the hue of it. Uh, so, you know, eggs can be a powerhouse of nutrition. So it's always really important when you're picking your eggs that you're getting something that is fed right, treated right, right. you know, sustainably, preferably local if you can. I love that you use the local. Yeah, that's great. So shout out to Buttonwood. Thank you for the great <laughs> eggs throughout the years. So next we're gonna put a little shredded cheddar. So a little pro tip on this one, there's, you know, when I say shredded cheddar, that can mean a lot of different things um, because there's a lot of shapes and sizes. So we like to use just a straight cheddar, no Monterey Jack mix in there. And we like what's called in the industry a feather shred. So something that's really, a little bit- Really, really tiny. Really fine yeah. because I find that if you get the thicker ones, 
that it almost gets like too clumpy. We just, we really just use the cheese as a binder to kind of hold everything together in there. And we were talking about it earlier that if you are vegan and maybe you can't do cheese, that you can't absolutely use like the vegan shreds. They do substitute one for one as well too. So we'll go ahead and add that in. And so now I'm a little more secret sauce here. Okay. Cornflake crumbs. We have a cup and a half of cornflake okay. crumbs. Okay. So they're gluten free, which is a big reason why we ended up cho choosing them as a binder. I'm a big fan of gluten free. Yep. So everything that we do in the restaurant, gluten free. Love that. And so we're going to go ahead and add that cup and a half cornflake crumbs. And now we're going to add the seasonings. Okay. So we have a teaspoon of some garlic powder. We have a tablespoon of some fresh chopped parsley. I really like this because it kind of adds that nice little bright green pop in there. Green always makes you think it's healthy. That's we have true. A, we have a <laughs> tablespoon of a little salt and pepper mix. Yeah, got to have the, gotta have that. Mm -hmm. We have a teaspoon of our onion powder. Got a little smoke coming up. And our last little secret ingredient here, yellow mustard. So we have two tablespoons oh. of yellow mustard. So a lot of things that people don't know about mustard is that it's actually an emulsifier. So because we're making like a mix or like a dough here, we do want it to emulsify. So like even if you make chocolate chip cookies, you want it to emulsify. So mustard actually helps things boost and emulsify and stick together Didn't and make I know a nice that. cohesive mix. So if you're ever making something, uh, you know, where you need it to emulsify, dressing, something like that, a little mustard can kind of help bind that in. So we've got our two tablespoons of just some plain yellow mustard. I love this. Okay, now we are not done yet, obviously. We're gonna be right back with more with Simon and Revel Kitchen. Just a minute. Welcome back, I'm Angela Sharp, and we are still in the kitchen with Simon from Revel Kitchen. And we put all the ingredients in the bowl for the Kali Tots. Yep, that's right. All right, so I now have gloves on, so now what happens? Now she's ready to work. Okay. So Angela with two L's. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to get your hands in there okay. and just mix it up nice and good. Mix it up, okay. Yep, so you don't need any fancy mixing equipment in here. I'll hold it nice and still for you. Little pro tip too, if you're ever at home, you can take a wet napkin or paper towel or something so that the bowl doesn't slide around on you, which is nice, but easy as that. You just want to kind of this go through. This is kind of actually fun. Right? <laughs> Maybe have a little anger you want to get yeah, out. Yeah, like just, I mean, I got some of that, so we, we can do this. Yeah, remind me to never uh, break check you for every trip. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. That's right. She's really mixing the car. I am mixing because I'm, you guys, I've got I some mean, aggression might, to get out. Do you need out. a part time job? <laughs> You're going to put me to work and uh, mix in? I will put you to work. It's good to know if the power ever goes out. I have a good old fashioned man. <laughs> you got me for you. That's awesome. So, okay. see how you kind of feel how it's coming along? Yeah, here? so it's kind of like, but I don't know that I could make it into balls yet. Could yeah. I? A little bit. So, I would just suggest maybe going down with your hand at the bottom. Yep, and just getting that last little bit. Raw. Yeah, give it a mix. Awesome. There we <laughs> I'm go. I'm making just a mess and I love it. Okay. Awesome, that looks great. You're hired. I'm hired, sweet, thanks She's in. man, I'll appreciate that. Put her in coach. Now what happens? Put your nonstick spray. Oh. And before you touch it again, get some fresh gloves. Okay, spray I'm here. Let him do this part. Go like this. Show. Now you have nonstick hands. Oh. And then the same thing's gonna go with your cookie scoop, right? That we're gonna use to portion these a little bit in there. Give it a twirl. Now we have nonstick <coughs> cookie scoop. Thank you, Pam, for the nonstick. Um, I like olive oil just because it has a little better taste. So that's just me. So now we're going to take these and we're going to start scooping them. 
with our little okay. cookie scooper. And so this will really help. Like you're saying, oh, I don't know if this will come into a ball. And now you're gonna see like they're gonna start coming. Like it comes into a ball way easier yeah. that way for sure. Yeah, so now we're gonna start seeing that tot shape. So then we will put those on a liner right here. And we'll start portioning them out. I love this so much. Now, you guys also do some catering at Rebel Kitchen. We do a lot of catering, yeah. So yeah. We, uh, we have been catering for a lot of the other sports teams as well for years, visiting teams. So when baseball teams come to town, uh, we cater for them. We cater for the, you know, for the Blues visiting team. So we're always catering for them. When the Rams were here, we were doing it for them. Uh, the soccer team's been calling us a lot. So obviously, you know, athletes want to eat healthy. They want to eat food that's good for you, that tastes good. So we check a lot of those boxes. So we've been doing it for over a decade now. I love that. And I feel like even people that maybe aren't health conscious themselves might want to eat at the same place the Cardinals or the Blues or the visiting teams eat, right? Absolutely, yeah. And I think they're, they're actually generally surprised because I think we were talking about earlier that everybody has this preconceived notion that healthy food is cardboard tasting and right. does, isn't seasoned or doesn't you know doesn't feel good when you eat like doesn't taste good when you eat it and that's definitely not true we season everything really nicely we're using tons of flavors while still being healthy so that's why i think we check the boxes for not only the athletes but really anyone who just wants to eat a good meal yeah for sure yeah so we're gonna go ahead if you were you know doing these at home right. i would suggest portioning leaving a little space in between making them nice and then you're gonna get a nice little full tray here. You're right. I like a little parchment down on the bottom so they don't stick. And then you're gonna have your oven preheated to 425 and you're gonna bake that for about 12 minutes. Okay, so that's actually relatively quick yes. to even make. Absolutely. So a little TV magic here. Right, we you love know, the TV magic. We'll put it in for 12 minutes. Let's do the little fake clothes, right? Like yeah. what I do on the show. Da, 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 da. And Ah, the pan is sizzling. That was a quick 12 minutes. Wow, there they are. They smell good. They smell delicious. They look delicious. good. All looks fantastic. So I would suggest before eating them, letting them chill a little bit, because as you can see, yeah, they're, they're, they're kind hot. of pss, pss, pss. Yep, they're making noise, they're talking to us. <laughs> they're saying, eat me. And so they're ready to enjoy when they're hot. At the restaurant, we have two sizes, small, which is five, or a large, which is 10. Oh, right on. So some people, this is almost a meal for them. Maybe they get that in a smoothie, a 10. Right. Maybe five is the perfect little amount to go with a nice bowl. Because um, you guys have like the pressed juices and you've got all that Exactly, at Rebel yeah. So that could be a meal right here. Some tots and some juice and you're getting tons of vegetables. We do the cold pressed juice, everything in the house. Uh, so it's gonna be a great healthy meal for you. Now, you could always have a little Ketchup with it, Heinz only. I'm from Pittsburgh. Everything ketchup else is not ketchup. Ketchup would be where I would go with it, right? Or, <laughs> like we were talking about the liquid gold, the eggs, we make an in-house garlic aioli with those same Buttonwood Farms eggs, which is just fantastic. I like that one as well. You can dip the tots in there. They're very good, tasty little combo. I love this so very much. Thank you so much Thank you. for joining us today. Yeah. Now, people are gonna wanna check out where you're located and all yeah. that information. So where are you guys? So we have two locations right now. We have one in Brentwood, 8388 Music Memorial Drive. I always like to say right next to the fabulous Miley. Everybody knows Miley, an institution in St. Louis. And then we're in Kirkwood, next to another institution, uh, Nathaniel Reed Bakery. So next to some really good neighbors there, you can come check us both out. Oh my goodness, gotta check that out. Okay. Can I check this out yet? You Please, think it's, uh, get it's in there. Biteable yet? It is biteable. It's, it's a little or warm. eatable, as my young son it's, says. It's eatable. <laughs> eatable. Oh, really good. Awesome, awesome. A much better treat than the usual peas that you have. <laughs> <laughs> yes, these are really, really good. I really like these. Awesome. I can see why athletes would like these. Yeah. It kind of has a like a hush puppy taste to it, Yes. right? Yeah, it's not like a super crispy crunchy. It's, right. it's like a melt in your mouth, soft and fluffy, but a little crunch on the outside. Yes. It's a cool texture. I like it, and for kids, I love it because it's like, you know, it's like easy for them to grab and dip and like break apart. So I have two little ones. They love them. It's one of their favorite things. We're gonna put up on the screen your locations again, just yeah. so everybody can find those and your social media channels, because people yeah. can follow along with you on social media as well. Oh yeah, on the socials, as the old, older folks say, right? That's really important though, because yeah. we always want to know what's coming up. And I'm shocked that I live 
kind of really close to Kirkwood and never knew you were there. So now awesome. I'm going to be visiting you all the time. There's food in my mouth because I'm not the normal host of the show, so I don't know how to eat and talk. Um, I like it's that. fine. That's very classy. I like that. It's you know, fine. Yeah. <laughs> That's a this was move. really good. I wanted to like finish it, right? That's going to do it for this episode of In the Kitchen. Don't forget to check out the next one coming up with Gossip. Gossip. Got to check that one out. We've had so much fun today. I hope you made these. And if you didn't make them, just go visit Simon. He'll make them for you. That, that's a way easier way to do it, right? Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. In order to pick up her delivery. That's right. Keep it right here on STL TV and experience St. Louis.